Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on popping all our squares together for our mystery poncho the Rustaman vibrations. I know so here we are guys um, I sent you off on your own and I asked you to do a one two three four five six seven squares on this side and seven squares on the opposite side. So hopefully you got all 14 squares done by now. So if you have, this is the part where we are now going to attach our squares to form our V in front, all right? So what you will need for this tutorial is, obviously, your three row squares. Then you will need the threads to help join those three rows square. Oh, is that the right one? That's not the right one. <laughs> Get it right, Mary, there you go. That's the thread we're going to use to join that one. And that's the thread we're going to use to join that one. That's the thread we're going to use to join that one. I'm trying to go so fast. <laughs> and that one and so on and so on. Okay, so um, roughly two grams of each skein you'll need, which is not much, you know, it's just really a row of um, cluster sets. However, we are going to use part of those cluster sets to join as you go. Now, okay, there are different ways of doing this particular join as you go. This is one way. It is a little bit more, um, don't get scared, it's not that bad, but it's a little bit more difficult than the normal way. However, I just wanted to show you quickly so you understand why I'm doing it. Because, I probably should have done a separate one for you so you can have a look. When you join it this way, get a nice close-up. When you join it this way, it makes an even, neat join. When we slip stitch it another way, you end up with two threads coming across this way and like a, a white gap in the middle and it kind of doesn't look neat. Whereas this way, this particular join does look neat. And you'll understand when I do it, because a lot of people say, oh, that's just a slip stitch to join. Mm, yes, no. <laughs> it is a slip stitch to join. However, the actual slip stitch itself is done differently. So let's not talk anymore. Let's just get started. You will need obviously your squares and you will need the extra row for your squares. You will need the same hook that you use to create your squares with. I use the four millimeter. You will need your scissors. You will need your darning ne needle, sewing weaving needle. And you will also need hmm, about four, maybe four stitch markers, five. Um, no, I think four. I would probably use three, but we'll stick to four just to be, to be safe. All right, so I'm not gonna talk anymore. We are just gonna get started joining our squares. Good luck guys. Alrighty guys, so let's grab the first two squares that you're going to do and that's that one there and that one there. Let's grab their colours which is that green, that one there, I'll show you in a minute, and the dark green. Pop that there and that there. Alright, so these are the two colours that you'll need. Okay, so let me get you a nice close up so you know what you're looking at. Okay, so your border rows are these two colours. All right. So let's move your second one out the way. You are doing your very, very top square first. Okay, so do your top square. Now, if you're anything like me, you would still have an end. Um, if not, congratulations, you've weaved in all your ends. <laughs> Grab your thread popping your thread through just like you're doing a normal row. In actual fact, this square is pretty much the same as all your squares. So you're chaining one, two, and three, and yes, grab that stitch marker. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you've got slip stitching in this chain down packed, then you don't need the stitch marker. But yours truly doesn't have it down packed. <laughs> don't tell anyone. <laughs> Do your normal double crochets. First two there, chaining one and two, and then you're doing your three double crochets in that space, like normal. Okay, the only different thing about this particular square and all your others you're about to do today is that you have two spaces between your corners. So now you have to fill in two spaces, all right? Okay, we'll just do that next one right there, going over that tail end, if you still 
like doing it this way you don't have to two and three and that is your two spaces complete now you're jumping into your corner with your normal double cluster set that's three double crochets oh it's a half get it right mary <laughs> three double crochets chain one and two and three double crochets all right so this particular square is pretty much the same as all your others the only difference is you have to add two more cluster sets in each side so go ahead and do that meet me back around here and we'll get ready for what's to happen next all righty here we are at the end of our row okay now all you're doing again because this square is the same as the rest you are just slip stitching into your stitch marker space and I didn't do that so tight don't forget to cut your end you made that a little bit of a long tail take out your stitch marker and leave it there for a minute you're going to do this one here now this one here however is going to be done differently because we are going to be attaching this to that all right now what we're going to do okay yours truly I like to pop my um, thread okay let me explain to you so you know what I'm doing here okay so that's there yes and this one's your next one this is going to be crocheted two you can use your stitch markers now pop them together like that and let me get close up for you so you can see that will be crocheted to that piece there all right this one will be crocheted to that piece in that corner there okay now when we start we're going to start from this corner we're going to work our way all the way around attach work across here attach come back here and slip stitch so where we're going to start pop your stitch marker in the corner that you are going to start in and you know you're going to start in that one you know what you do always pop something like a different color so you know you're going to start in the orange one it's easier for you to remember how to start so we are going to start right now turn your work around leave everything attached and now you can pop in your hook right once you pop your hook in you can remove that stitch marker right there you'll need it so keep it nice and close so grab your thread pull a loop through like as if you were doing a normal round which you are okay all right so now we are chaining up three one two and three remember to pop that stitch marker back in there nice little tight stitch there all right so here we go we are going to do a normal cluster set a double cluster set in there I should say so one double crochet two double crochets all right so you've got your three all together there so you're chaining one and two and then you're doing three double crochets so what you're doing here basically uh, this side here you are adding an extra cluster set as well but you're doing basic basic right until you get to about there all right so these you've got another two cluster sets to pop in and it's the same as this one here really so you're just popping your three double crochets in your first space that's one cluster set I might start using the terminology guys Ooh one cluster set in your next space oh i'll use the terminology <laughs> oh gosh a zero go okay and a double cluster set in that space <laughs> are you getting it that's three two three by the way in case you've forgotten <laughs> oh yes one and two and three double crochets one two and three all right now we're getting close to that side so we're going to do a one cluster set in your next space and here's where my thread is so i actually just weave. is this too close for you guys sorry i actually just weave that in or crochet over that right there and do three double crochets two and three now this is where it gets a little different we're about to jump into the corner 
We're going to start our three double crochets. So go ahead and start those three double crochets in your corner like normal. Two and three. All right, I'm going to pull that up for a second so we can have a chat. Let's just get that yarn on there. Take out your stitch mark because you, you know you're going to be popping your next stitch in there anyway because that's still attached, okay? All right, so this is where the join comes in. Okay, it's a little different to the usual slip stitch, but it will still work. And we're going to do it flat so that you can actually see what it is that I do. Hopefully I can do it flat and still record at the same time. Now, before you start the corner, you are going to chain one because it's still a corner. Now, you're going to pop your hook in that corner. When you pull a loop through like a slip stitch, you're pulling it through everything not just the actual corner stitch. You're pulling it through the corner stitch and the loop on your hook. Now let's try that again. We'll do it another way so you might be able to work differently. You're popping it in the corner and you're pulling your thread through the corner. Can you see what's happening there? Thread is going through the corner and through to the stitch on your hook at the same time. All right, so it is probably better to do it while it's down and you're going to chain, no, oh yes, you are going to chain one because you're in a corner. And you're going to put three double crochets back in the same corner that you're working in. One, two, and a three. Okay. Your very next space you're coming to, it's actually your corresponding space to that stitch right there sorry so your very next space is there you're popping your hook in the space and you're always holding your yarn up in front of you like that and then you're grabbing your thread pulling it through pulling it through to all of it your whole space and the stitch on your hook then you are not chaining you're just popping your yarn over your hook and you're doing a normal cluster set in your next space and try not to do the stitch too loose when you slip stitch. Two and three. All right, so there's your opposite cluster set space there. You're going to pop your hook in that space right there. Oh, you know what you can do, actually. You know what we do first. Let's take this stitch mark out. Because you know, once we get to that corner, we have to do the same sort of thing we did here but a little bit different, but we know that's the corner we're joining in, just so it's easier for us to find the opposite side. So now you're going to find the very next space on that side right there. You're going to pop your hook in that space. Whoops, pop your hook in the space, yes. Pull a loop through, giving your work a big tug. Now that was really loose, so I'm just going to give it a bit of a tug and closing it up a little. Then you're going to pop your double crochet set in your next space now we're getting close to that corner it looks like we're not going to make it but trust me we do it does work all right there's your three now grab your hook pop it in pull that loop through like so giving your work a big tug and then you are jumping into the corner with three double crochets one two three all right now this is your corner area you need to chain one first because you're in a corner then you're going to pop your hook in the corner pull the loop through like normal if you can get it through all right and give it a bit of a tug and this time because you're in a corner you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work to the side so that is exactly what you have done so far all right now, whilst it's on the side, let's bring that up a little. You are now going to work along your edge. So all you're doing is your three double crochets in that corner because you still have to finish off that corner. And three, I love this join as you go. This is one that I really like. And then you just go into your next space with a normal three double crochets. So this part is quite easy. You've done all this before. This is what you do usually. And then you jump into your next corner with your three double crochets or one. Whoops, my thread's all over the place here. Two. 
and three and now you just slip stitch oh, in that tight stitch there <laughs> we'll loop through and pull the loop through don't forget to cut your work give your work a cut and pull that tail through and you have joined your first square well your first two squares I should say but there you go how gorgeous is that once you attach the border rows to them they look gorgeous oh, very nice yes don't you love it I mean look at it it looks like you've just spent hours weaving in ends I mean sewing these squares together but really you haven't and I love this look it gives it a nice neat flat look pretty much like our join as you go but this one you've got that tiny little gap in the middle but you don't see that because it's really quite tight the join is quite tight all right and that's the back okay so if you did it the other way this is the look you're getting let me explain that is the look you're getting when you slip stitch the normal way and it looks like it's not complete so now when you look at it this way it looks complete yes gorgeous I love 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 okay guess what you have another six squares I'm sorry you don't you have another four squares. you have another two squares for this side how's that <laughs> just this side only <laughs> so grab your next square which one is our next square I don't know what squares you're using um, but these are the squares I am using so we need our next square which is oh dear oh dear I can't find it oh, it's one of those things um, it's a light green in the middle. <laughs> Get it right, Mary. Looks like that, I think. No, that's. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that's not it. That's not it. I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's the wrong side. <laughs> that's the wrong side. I'm wondering why I can't. Hello, Mary. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Here we go. Is that one? No, that's not. <laughs> I find it. Oh, here we go. That looks like it. Oh, wake up, Mary. What are you doing, woman? All right. So there we go. And our next color is, I believe, this gorgeous, lovely little green, which I don't have much of. But there you go. And we are going to attach that to there again, popping your thread any place you like. And I'm going to pop mine there for now. And there you go gorgeous now what are we going to do again first we're going to remove that stitch marker <laughs> you don't need that in there anymore okay we are going to attach our corners again like that and like that this is it only shows you where you need to stop your half a row that you're going to do okay and that's what it looks like yes now you turn your work, pop your hook in, get your thread. See how it's starting to sort of, your brain kind of, you know, gets it. Well, my brain does. <laughs> All right, here we go. Grab the thread, pass it over, chaining one, two, and three. Oops, we'll take that stitch marker out now. And we'll use it. To go in to there all right let's bring that up a little all right where are we pop that little stitch marker over the way all right now you are doing your normal two double crochets in that corner oops that didn't work try that way that's better and two I did it again twice Ooh. chaining two one and two and now you're doing your three double crochets one and two and three pass that loop back there jump into your next With your three double crochets oh, i'm going really fast now guys because i want to get around to that side for you last time i did this i went really really fast and i messed up all the stitches Shh, but don't tell my subscribers they don't know that yet <laughs> i did edit it and fix it 
as you do. Oh, it happens. All right. Love to know your colours, guys. If you want to pop your um, colours in the comment section down below, by all means, you can do that. Um, and if you want to shout some photos over at Facebook, then by all means, upload some photos there. We won't mind. Okay, grab that little thread. You don't need to if you haven't got one. Yours truly does. So I'm going to crochet over that thread like so. Okay, one, two, and three. All right, we're nearing that corner. We're actually going to be in that corner in one second. All right, so we're going to put, again, three double crochets in the corner. One, two, and three. All right, take out your stitch marker because you know this is a corner you're going to work in. Pop in the chain like you would in any corner, one chain only. Then, turning your work again, popping your hook in that, I'm sorry, we'll show you again. Popping your hook in the space. And if it pays to leave everything loose and you tighten it all up later, that's fine. Pull that loop through. And you can just tighten it up if you like. If you want, I find that a little awkward and a little bit fussy. So chaining one. And then you are putting three double crochets in your corner that you need to complete that set, the double set. Okay. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to jump into the very next space grabbing oops grabbing your loop and pulling it through tighten it up a little and three double crochets in that next corner I mean sorry the next space not the next corner get it right Mary two and three all right what we're gonna do is just take that corner stitch marker out now because you know where you're going yeah yeah oh, I've just lost my stitch oh dear here we go <laughs> because you know you're going to jump into that corner and you're going to join to that corner all right so for now find your next space right there pop your hook in pull your loop through and i'll split the yarn of course i have let's try it again and there you go just be weary you know it's, it is a fiddly stitch but once you get it it you kind of it kind of flows after a while okay so there's your one double crochet in your next space two double crochets in your next space three in your next space okay we're going to jump into that very last space you see right there pull that loop through like so jump into your corner now with three double crochets one two and three now this is a corner that we're going to join with so you're chaining one now you get that corner there popping your hook in pulling a loop through <laughs> without splitting it like I nearly am chain one and you're turning your work and popping your last three double crochets in that space right there whoops whoops I just pulled that real loose didn't I and then you are doing your normal three double crochets across super easy guys this part <laughs> I like to call this a home stretch per square, if that makes any sense, because you're actually on a home stretch for that square. Okay, and you're doing your last set in there. Am I going too fast for you guys? I do apologize. I just want to get this part done so I can show you what you're going to do next. And you're going to do the next part by yourself. What? <laughs> they, they're saying, what? <laughs> okay, slip stitch in there, pull a loop through and pull a loop through to the loop on your hook pull up your loop or well, give it a cut first oh, God, where is it and pull that loop through all right and there you go and you have joined square number three Ta-da! <laughs> how gorgeous does it look showing you the other side see that's what i mean if you were to do the other slip stitch the older way the old-fashioned way that is the look you are getting. It's quite a messy look and it doesn't look good. But this is a poncho. It's going to be inside. So the good look, well, I should say the good looking part, <laughs> is on this side. The pretty side is this side. 
the not so pretty side is that side all right so there you go gorgeous guess what guys <laughs> you're gonna do the next part by yourself i don't know don't stress it'll be okay truly it will <laughs> they're saying no <laughs> so this one here okay don't stress looking at that yet all you're worried about doing is joining that to that first all right so let's move that out the way that's what you're joining and you are using this color right here to join okay so what you have so far is that yeah and now you're going to join that to that and don't worry about that piece you're only focused on this all right so let's bring that down take that out the way all right so there you go that's your piece now put it the way you like it doesn't matter I'm going to leave mine like that so my tail ends are up or down now join your squares at the corners okay that corner whoops take that stitch marker out of there and that corner and you're going to start with the orange so you know what you're going to do turn your work around pop your hook in grab the color that you need and take a risk and doing this part by yourself remember you're doing this way all the way um, get to your corner chain one just copy exactly what you did with this piece here do this square meet me up at the end of the square I'm wishing you good luck <laughs> and I'll meet you back at the end of this square all right so now this is what you have let me show you what you have this is what you have so far gorgeous now this next part a little tiny bit tricky but not difficult guys not completely you're going to attach your very next color which is that one there and this is what you're going to do because it is a corner you need to do <laughs> that corner into that corner there all right just pop that corner in this is where you're going to start from like you would normally yes now this corner here ordinarily would go onto that but let me get a nice close-up so you can have a look at the bottom one let me bring that out see how my piece there is joined from there to the top green over to the other green back into there now we're going to do this together so it doesn't get too confusing pop your stitch marker in your green pop it in the light green and it kind of has to go into that green as well but we'll just pop it in the light green for now and we'll sort it out when we get up to there but you're slip stitching to the light green first to that top one right there first you're slip stitching to that one there so pop your stitch marker in that top one okay move all this out the way all right so that's where we start we're going from right we are starting from this corner right here bring that up nice and close turn your work around it's getting a little bit bigger now nothing you can't handle and that's exactly where your thread's going to go so take that stitch marker out for now leave it here because you're going to pop it in your stitch in a minute grab your thread pulling your thread through and your tail comes back around here and away we go this part you know one two and three grabbing your stitch marker if you like in there and doing your normal two double crochets in the same corner two and then chain one and two and doing two double i'm sorry three double crochets oh dear I'm still not awake yet it's mid-morning and I'm not awake oh dear <laughs> pop that thread over there and pop in uh, your next cluster set easy this part I'm gonna speed this up wait till we get to the out corner there all right all 
right we are right near our corner there all right very tricky corner this but not difficult just tricky just there to trick us a little bit all right okay so what you're going to do now I'll bring it out a little bit so you see where we are we're going to pop let's take this undone for now the stitch marker you don't really need it there because you know we're going to join when we're in this corner so let's hop into the corner and do our three double crochets one two and three and I'll get you a nice close-up now give me a second all righty here we go you are chaining one like you would normally turn your work around and you're going into the light green square right there the light green before your dark green so pop your hook in that light green oops I'm sorry do it this way pop it in the light green pulling a loop through all right just give it a bit of a tug yes then we're going to pop into the dark green doing exactly the same thing if it helps you to keep your work loose and then tighten it up later by all means you can do that so you pull the loop through chain one and now you're going to hop back into your corner with your three double crochets one two let's pull up that loop make sure it's not loose here make sure it's nice and tight so if it's loose and dangling it's going to look bad doesn't matter anyway because we're going to be crocheting in that section that one that one and that one later when we add a border row which we will be adding towards the end of our poncho okay not now you've got a long way to go take off that little corner stitch you know the very next corner you get to you're going to do the turn so take off that corner stitch there's nothing different with this part this is the same so you're pulling your loop through and you are doing your normal cluster set in your space now you've done this before because you headed off on your own before so you know what you're doing with this side here jumping into that very next space with that slip stitch so there we go we just keep going coolio coolio i think coolio pull up your loop jump into your next jump into your corner sp space now okay so we are now in our corner space and three and this is the corner that we're joining with chain one grab your corner Pull the loop through give it a bit of a tug chain one turning your work a little popping your three double crochets in there one two and three and look at that <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm doing well today twist 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 jump into your next space with your three double crochets home stretch on this square guys home stretch well just on the square not on the project sorry nice try <laughs> Two. oops and three and then you slip stitch into that little stitch right there pull a loop through pull through and pull up your loop give your end a cut and there you go all right so what you have done now is you have made your corner oh, I'll take that stitch marker out sorry guys you've made your corner ta-da you've done your little turn coolio don't you think I think get excited guys this next step you're doing by yourself what they're saying what <laughs> that's correct you're doing it by yourself sorry <laughs> hate to disappoint you <laughs> all right but you know it's not that difficult all right the difficult part was that square that you did just now and that's what you've done okay super easy I mean super super easy okay your next square is that one and that one. Oh, is it let's have a look yes all right so you've got your two squares all right best part is you're gonna do that one and that one yourselves 
then you're going to come back and join me and I'll show you what we're going to do to the other side all right so let's start with this one here so you know what you're doing and then later you can head off on your own and do it how's that oops oops there you go so pop your hook your hook pop your stitch marker in there and there now this time we're going upwards it's exactly the same it just the other side that's all you're doing you're not doing anything different you're just doing the other side okay and there's your blue stitch mark that you are going to be putting your crochet in when you first start I mean your hook in when you first start how's that yes leave that there take that out the way all right head off on your own do this one and then attach this one the same way you did this and meet me back here and get ready for the second part. Good luck, guys. Ta-da! <laughs> that is exactly where you need to be. Now, let me show you my front so you know it's pretty much exactly the same. All right? So there you go. We're going to pass it over. And there you go. They all match. Yes? That's one side. You have completed one side of your work. What we're going to do now, just quickly, we're going to do one more square. What we're going to do is the square, the last square that you finished, hopefully you've done both your squares. If you haven't done both your squares, do that last square that you were supposed to do and meet us back here now. For the rest of us, we are going to continue on with our very next square. Now your very next square, I'll open up the poncho so you can have a look, is that colour there. All right, those colours there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the poncho so you can see what it looks like. That's why I thought I would, well, we're that far out already. That's what it looks like. All right. So you have actually done, this way you know what you're doing. You've done that. There. All right. So your next one is there. Yes. There's nothing fancy about this next piece. You're joining this piece to that piece like normal and all you're doing as you would i'm sorry about all these ends i should have weaved them in as i went along i do apologize um you're just joining your squares like normal just join it from there to there yes from there to there yes and remember where we start we start right there okay your blue one is always your starting chain so start there do this particular square which is exactly the same as you've been doing all along but i just wanted to show you that it was the same and you're not doing anything different so do your next one which i believe we used the pink do that one there and meet me back here in just a moment all righty guys this is what you have that's what you've done so far you've done that 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 and this one square is all out of whack it's not the same as everything else because you have flipped your work like so and you have done that first square all right now you've got one two three four five six squares left to do and guess what guys <laughs> you're going to head off on your own and do them <laughs> what they're saying no <laughs> just repeat the same thing you did during this tutorial for all six squares don't do your last squares. So really you're doing one, two, three, four, five. Get to this last square. Get your square ready. Grab your green and just wait for me there. Because you're joining this square to there and to the other side. All right. So get to this last square and meet me up. Good luck, guys. Ta-da, guys. There you go. That's what you've done so far. Now you've got that one last square to put right there. And we're going to do that square together. Oh, and then this part of the tutorial is complete. And then I'm going to show you the border row. Okay. So just grab a stitch marker. This is the piece that we're crocheting together. So grab a stitch marker, pop it there and there on this side. Yes. Grab a pink one or whatever color you like. Pop it there and there on this side because now you're attaching all four corners. Yes, you are. Move that down one and then bring that up. Grab your orange. 
like so. And there's your blue. This is where we're going to start. So pop it through there and there. All right. Well, you can start anywhere. If you wanted to start there, you can. I'm just being consistent and starting there. Okay. So turn it around. Grab your hook. Pop it in your corner space. Okay. Now this is going to be a tad different. Now the colour we are using, this green right here. Okay. The leaf, if you will. All right. So now you pop your hook in, like so. Take out your stitch marker because you know you're going to join this one. You're definitely joining this one. But before you join, you are going to firstly do your first cluster set. So you're chaining up one, two, and three. And remember to pop that stitch marker in right there now in this square here this corner here i should say we're only doing your two double crochets only so one whoops i didn't put that stitch marker on properly i don't want to lose it and two so you've got your chain three your two double crochets and now you're going to chain one only it's a little bit fiddly because your piece is relatively big so kind of lay it so that you can work. Okay, turn your work a little bit. Like that. Pop into your corner. Whoops, wrong thread. That's the one. And pull that loop through like normal. Like you're doing just your normal corner. Chaining one. And you're doing the rest of your cluster set in there and I'm still crocheting over that tail end too you don't need to if it's confusing you for this part just continue doing oops oops your cluster set without pulling threads through two and three all right now we know for a fact we're going to jump into that corner in a minute so I'm going to take it undone it's just it's a little bit awkward and it's hard to crochet when it's pulling on the end there so I took that undone popping a little tail away all right now you're going to jump into the very next space there on the opposite side pulling your thread through and then you're going to do your cluster set in your same space well not same space your next space I should say on the same square that you're working on then you're going to pop your hook in the opposite side oh don't lose a stitch like I just did that's no good <laughs> pull the loop through and then do your cluster set and you might find that that's what's been happening you know you're losing your slip there that's fine you're slipping that hook out it, it does happen because it's an awkward stitch to slip stitch okay so pop your hook in pull that loop through and jumping into your corner now this is a corner that we're going to join again so you do your three double crochets one two and three chain one jumping into that corner right there pulling your loop through like normal turning your work a little chain one to get out of the corner and back into the same corner that you're working in with your last three double crochets so you've joined the first side and now we're going to head on down this side to join this one okay one two three yep jump into your next space with your three double crochets i won't say it's a home stretch because you're going to be joining this one two and three jump into your next space with a one two you know what i'm thinking this is this is just in your way how's that we'll move that so you can see better oh that's so much better two and three now you can see sorry guys all right now we're at the corner where we're going to join again. First thing we're going to do is start our three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one. Take out your stitch marker. You don't need it there anymore. Turn your work a little. You are going to slip into that stitch right opposite. Pull the loop through and chain one. 
jump back into your corner finishing off that cluster set one two and three whoops three before you continue undo that corner stitch there undo that corner stitch marker sorry the very next corner you come to you're going to do another join so just be weary yeah in the meantime you are jumping into your space with your slip stitch now we're going to jump into that very next space with our three double crochets one two and three should, oh gosh i'm doing well today aren't i look at me oh it's always on the home stretch isn't it that messes up <laughs> two and three all right and then you're slip stitching into your next one like so jumping into your next space with your three double crochets one two and three tighten it up a little jump into your corner this is the corner that we're going to join so one two and three chain one all right there's your corner right there you're going to pop your hook in pull your loop through chain one turn your work a little and finish off your corner two and three and guess what guys as i've been saying all along home stretch one two three one two and three and guess what you slip stitching to the top of that stitch right there pull the loop through give it a cut pat yourself on the back because you just did the hardest part of this tutorial that's it it's done all right so put it all in the right way okay and there you go Ta -da! your piece is now complete and ready for the very next step pretty coolio huh pretty coolio i love 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 don't you love 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 i love 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 we're going to get started right onto that very next step because this tutorial is taking a hundred years <laughs> yet again so i need you to grab your cream or whatever dominant color you're going to use throughout your um poncho okay now i'm using the cream to domineer everything when i say domineer um from now on these other colors that you see will be used very minimal throughout the tutorial and you'll be seeing a little bit more of the cream i hope that helps um, so if you don't want to use cream and you want to use one of the greens or one of the pinks or whatever you want to use by all means you can do that but um, I'm going to be using cream so where to start with our cream let's start where we started from the beginning of our work we started right up the top and I think that's the best place to start for this part of the tutorial we're not working on the inner side of our neck edge that will be done at the very end of our poncho. When our poncho is complete, we will work on that part of the tutorial. Turn your work around like so. Yes, we're going to work from here, but we'll work from this section here where we just finished off. Now, normally I wouldn't, but we're going to work from there. Okay, so pop your hook in your space. The only reason we're working from there is so that you don't get confused, all right? Grab your dominant colour, whichever you wanted to use. Pull the loop through. And get ready for this part because this is the fun part. Chain one, two and three. Grabbing your stitch marker, anyone you like. It doesn't matter. You'll only need one for this row. Now this, this is working around the whole of your poncho, this particular row, okay? 
So you're going to put, oh, it's too far away. Sorry, guys. So you're going to put another two double crochets in that space right there, crocheting over your tail if you like. Okay. Pop your little tail at the back there. All right. Now, this is your first corner that you're coming to, your first join. It's not so much a corner, it's just a join. For here, what you're doing is you're putting one double crochet in that space. And this next stitch, you are working double crochet two together, okay? Which means you start your double crochet, you pop it in the same space you're in, pull up your loop, yarn over and pull through two. Hold it there. Yarn over again. Pop it in your next corner, pull up a loop, and you'll have one, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull through two. You've got three left. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. That is joining two together. And now you're going to put one double crochet in the same space. So when you look at your work, it looks like you've only got one double crochet, two double crochets, and three. You looks looks like you've got a cluster set there when really you haven't, you've combined the two together, all right? So that's just for when you come to a join. For every other cluster, you're popping in three double crochets. So you're just doing a cluster set in every space, except for the joins, which we're gonna come up to in a moment because they're relatively quick to come up to. You've only got three cluster sets in between, I think. Another one. And that's your third one. And now we're getting into that corner again. So you're doing your one double crochet. Yes. And now you're doing your two together. And that's yarn over your hook, pop it in your same space you're in, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, hold it there. Yarn over, pop it in your next corner space. Pull up a loop, one, two, three, four, yarn over, pull through two, one, two, three, Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. That's your join two together. Now you're doing one double crochet in the same space. And there's your one, two, and three. So it looks like three double crochets. Okay, so you've actually closed up that area a bit. Now jump into your next space with three double crochets. So that's your first space. That's your second. That's your third. And then you have your corners. So I keep calling them corners. They are corners, but they're actually joins. We'll call them joins. You have your joins, okay? So you pop your hook in the space with one double crochet. Now we're doing our two together. One in the space, halfway done. Yarn over, another one, halfway done, four loops, yarn over, pull through two. You've got your three loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then you do one double crochet. And yes, another three double crochets. One, two, three, one, two, Three. Now there's that little, see that thread there? This is why I didn't like, didn't want to weave them in because I want to crochet over them first and then weave them in. If it confuses you, you're welcome to weave them in first by all means. But this is the way I do it. And there you go. That's the last cluster set done. You've got your join. We're coming to a corner now, okay? You've got your join, so you're going to do one double crochet in there. Then you're going to put your double crochet two together there jump into oops sorry jump into your next corner two and then pull it through all three and then you do another one and then you do this is where we're coming to our corner okay our very first corner of our poncho so do your one set two sets I keep calling them sets, they're not sets, this is just, a, well it is, it's a cluster set. Okay, now, just crochet over that thread and do your third set. 
One, two, and three. All right, now, this is where you are. So you know where you are. I'm going to show you roughly exactly where you are. That's what your work should look like. And it's gorgeous. I know, right? <laughs> now, you are right here in the corner. So you know what you're going to do? You're going to do a normal corner. So you're going to do three, two, three in that corner. So, without talking, <laughs> they're saying, stop talking, Mary. And let's just do it. Okay, so it's one, two, three, yes, chain one and two, and do your three double crochets, all in the same corner. All right, now turning your work, and you're going to start along the other side which is super easy because you've done one side already but I'll get you to that join we'll do the join together and then we'll talk okay here we go here we go all right right to the end of that row and there's our join so now you're going to do one double crochet do your two together yarn over pop it in the space pull through two yarn over again jump into your next corner pull through two three loops yarn over pull through all three loops and then do one double crochet and then you're jumping straight into your next cluster set there we're going to do this one and then we're going to stop and have a quick chat. And they're thinking, oh no, don't do it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Otherwise this tutorial is going to go for another two hours. All right. <laughs> okay. Super easy. Yeah. Super easy. You know what you're doing. All right. So here we go. Now, this is what you're going to do. And I know you can do this. All right. What you've seen here, continue along that row. Now. When you pull this this way, it's still going straight all the way until you get to the corner. So you're doing exactly that all the way until you get to this corner and then do that three, two, three in the corner. And if you like right now, let's pop a stitch marker. It just reminds you that that is the corner. You will know when you get there. It's not that difficult. You'll see your last join. Then you'll get to your corner. You do your three, two, three, turn your work along the side do the half that side right there or the other half I should say and meet me up right here and we'll have a chat here we are at the end of the row I have uh, one more cluster set left which is right there I don't know where you are up to I'm assuming you're right up to the top there so there's one cluster set there two and three, oh, I'm sorry, too far. Okay, just pop your hook through, pull a loop through, pull it through to the loop on your hook, pull it up, take out that stitch marker and use it to pop in your loop like that. Just pop it in your loop and give it a tug. That way we're going to walk away and leave it there for six months. Well, not really, but, you know, um, and we won't lose our stitch. All right. But I just wanted to show you quickly what you have done today. Today. Okay. Today you have joined all of your squares. Okay. We started from there. We joined all our squares and we're right back where we started, except now we have a gorgeous piece. Ta-da! <laughs> big pat on the back guys big pat on the back because you've done a wonderful job okay now this is where I'm going to leave part two guys I would like for you to go on your own and just weave in all your gazillion ends I've weaved in some of them before um, but just weave in all your ends meet me back here in a couple of days time uh, either Monday or Tuesday of the early of the week and we will get together and decide for some serious and I say serious, stitching. 
we're going to change up the pattern just a little bit come on we want to make it interesting we don't want to just do boring double crochets all the way through do we <laughs> you're thinking oh what's she doing to us <laughs> don't stress it won't be too difficult but look at that gorgeous join that you did there turn it over and look at that gorgeous join that you did there if you wanted to at the end and you found that you don't want to put a border on and it suits you at least you know your join is gorgeous but we are going to put a border only because I do like borders but then you don't have to if you don't want to <laughs> but yours truly will be putting a border on this particular poncho but don't you just love the join I mean check that out does it not look gorgeous I love that join I truly do and it's one of my favorites this one and the join as you go if you're not sure what the join as you go is I will leave a link to the join as you go in the description box down below totally different to this one um, but check that out it's a little bit more technical a little bit more you really have to focus but this one here I find it a lot easier quicker the colors join naturally and they just look gorgeously flat gorgeous <laughs> there you go all right guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you guys already do for me um, but thank you so much for that and don't forget join me on my Wednesday afternoons at 4 p.m. and Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Melbourne Australia time live to discuss if you had any issues with your poncho and your join as you go and to also talk about other issues that are coming up with wow crochet over the next few months it's going to be exciting we are entering into a new phase we are entering towards the uh, end of the year and that's my favorite part of the year christmas i know we're not up to christmas yet because we we still haven't done our um <laughs> halloween gear and by the way we are in the middle of a halloween special at the moment where we are producing quite a few items i will leave a link to that playlist in the description box down below if you're interested in doing some halloween crochet Thank you so much for watching guys and all I want to say right now is until Monday or Tuesday, <laughs> ciao for now.